Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, it's V here. And I thought I would talk you through something that I get a lot of requests for, and that is the Quantanium Cargo Run. So you've done your mining, and now what do you do on the other side of the loop? And I like to do these every so often because I think that they do pay some dividends, and like I said, I do get some requests from time to time. So here we've gone to the refining terminal, and what we are doing is we are looking through our refining jobs. You can see I've got one that has about 500 or so left to do. Now, that's actually quite a bit of money, but unfortunately, I'm out of time today. So it's one of those things where I'm actually headed out on vacation this week, so I'm gonna be canceling some orders, uh, or at least one, which is no big deal. I have uh, uh, you know, plenty of, uh, of spare money to kind of absorb it. So as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm going through each of my jobs, in this particular case, I did a cancel on a work order. It says work order canceled, but don't worry. It is definitely in your ha your hauler. Um, you know, I choose my Constellation Taurus here as well. As I go to put this last job in, I just don't have enough, you know, quite enough uh, um, cargo space to haul that one. So I, I did have this little one that I don't exactly know what happened to that one, but it, it seemed to have been, uh, um, you know, just kind of a, a, a littler one. And there's a, a person here who... It's kind of funny, a little bit, a bit of a running, some foreshadowing, a little running theme through here, who, uh, who's kind of, really kind of on, almost on the exact same loop. I have a feeling, because, uh, the spoiler alert, they show up in the video quite, quite a bit here. So, anyways, as we, as we depart the refinery, we're gonna head upstairs and we are going to, um, call the tourists. And so when I do these, I like to do them kind of the way that you would do them out there in the world you know i don't i could edit a lot of this stuff but i do think that you know it pays dividends a little bit to just kind of watch the entire process so we've been down to the refinery we've selected our um, refined jobs we've added them to the constellation taurus and now i'm coming up here and i'm going to call the taurus now, um, the Taurus, uh, I will say, the one upgrade that's on it right now is I do have an XL1 drive, and that's, I think, a smart thing to do uh, is upgrade your quantum drive specifically on, on this thing because it makes it a, a tremendously different um, ride over much faster. So Hangar 6, and we're going to head on up. And one of the things you notice here is... Uh, um, elevators have gotten a lot faster and so you can see right there across the way though you can see the uh, like I said we're almost on the same track that other player and I they're, they're kind of in a lab coat and uh, and that's you know or, or like one of those um medical gowns <laughs> and so that's that's the thing the hangers afford right you can kind of run around in a in a medical gown and, and still head out to the hangar so which is kind of cool I'm, i dig it so anyways uh here we are we're coming out to the constellation taurus and uh the taurus is uh one of my favorite cargo haulers in the game and if you guys listen to the recent podcast you would know that this is actually my number two ship um and there's a whole lot of reasons for that i mean the constellation taurus the main reason is the 174 scu but it also has lots of forward gun power um, that, the, that is at the pilot's control. Two size fives, two size fours, uh, potentially. Um, really good shields, tons of uh, hit points. This ship is just, it's a gunboat with a, with a pretty good cargo size. Um, and so here we're going to set um, our destination. Notice I didn't open up the... Um, the hangar yet. So it's a good idea to set your destination. Uh, really, the best thing to do is to go ahead and to turn on your ship, maybe toggle your power to shields. I didn't do all that stuff here, but it's probably not a bad idea. So uh, you can see here, um, I actually do at, at some point toggle the pips to shields. There we go. And uh, I do call it uh, the door open. It's never a bad idea to let your shields charge a little bit, maybe more than I did um, before the door opened. But, you know, in this particular case, I got lucky. There was no one around uh, to cause me any kind of consternation. <laughs> and so, you know, off we go. So um, as the doors kind of get open here, 
we lift up off the pad and we begin our journey towards our court. delicious coffee this morning so here we go um, we just are gonna go ahead and pivot towards arc we're gonna spool the quantum drive and we're gonna uh, just punch it as soon as uh, as soon as we can so off we go the nice thing about the art corp trip is it is a little drive one thing I probably would suggest in the future would be to understand that I think a lot of people would build kind of a, a quantum dampening net between um, Arc L1 and Arc Corp. So you might want to do it more of a, a zigzag, which maybe head towards another place, uh, and then go and then head back towards Arc Corp. But it's a very short ride in here, and that's one of the beauties of hauling from Arc L1 to Arc Corp. Is it's just not that far, and you can see that we're almost to Arc Corp now. Um, and the XL1 drive is making short uh, work of this uh, this little jump. So as we kind of um, come out of uh, our first quantum, we are going to go ahead and pivot around towards uh, the OM marker that's next on our list. I actually really do like to fly to Bajini before I head down towards area 18 and I just tend to find that I think that it does a better job with the frames if I kind of hit Bajini first and then go in so that's kind of my MO usually is to get over to Bajini and then just go ahead and and turn and and uh, and spool towards area 18 so that's what I'm doing here you can see we're hanging out over Bajini and now I'm beginning to spool for area 18 and and, uh, and getting ready to make this jump. It's kind of the last leg of the of the jumps here, um, and Area 18 is a is a beautiful, you know, beautiful city. Like it's really got that Mad Max or, or cyberpunk or not so much Mad Max, but I mean cyberpunk type, you know, theme. And you know, it's just it's just great. I, I really do. Um, I really do like Area 18, the landing zone. And uh, this is where I usually will bring my Quantanium. Now, I'm not opposed to Lorville, or um, I'm not opposed to uh, New Babbage either, but this is generally where I bring my stuff to sell. So you can see here, when I first kind of came out of Quantum, there was a, t a bit of fog. I couldn't really make exactly out where the uh, Starport was. So sometimes just getting yourself out of, um, you know, into third person or whatever can help orientate you a little bit. And that's what I did here. As I went into third person, then I immediately kind of recognized, okay, yep, there's the starport over that way. Went back in and started kind of pushing it. Now, as you can see here, I'm pushing the, the Constellation Taurus at full speed, or as full of speed as I can make in the atmosphere here. And don't panic. I mean, uh, you can actually fly pretty fast towards these. Uh, there's a lot of resistance now in the atmosphere, and, uh, and you can actually make a pretty reasonable clip for quite a long time. So we're on approach here at Area 18, and um, you can see that there's a couple of other uh, ships around, and th there's nothing wrong with that. That's cool, uh, you know, just like a starport should be. And um, and actually, if you kind of watch underneath me at around the, uh, I don't know, around the uh, maybe four o'clock position, you'll see a Cutlass Black fly by. Um, it's pretty cool. I went ahead and I called for the landing here. Uh, this is one of my favorite approaches in the game just because of it just looks magnificent and so uh, I do like to land in third person and so you can see uh, I went to third person here and if you like I said if you look underneath you'll see eventually see a I think there it is right there cutlass black zip by um, and I was uh, was focused on it for a second uh, I just think it's so cool you know Obviously, it's a starport, but you know, it's just, it just never gets old. <laughs> you know, so we're pro we're on approach here, and um, one of the things that I've noticed with Area 18 is it's been picking kind of these huge hangars, so hard to mess this up. Uh, you know, you got uh, you know a hangar that's probably maybe three lengths the size of your, uh, you know, maybe even four lengths the size of your Taurus. So you just kind of 
want to kind of come on in here, take it easy. I am nose up probably, you know, uh, you know, definitely a few degrees. That's the way I like to land the Taurus is, is nose kind of, you know, kind of coming on an angle where the nose is above the tail for sure. Uh, and then we just kind of ease, our, ease ourselves on in here and drop her down right on the deck. Good landing. You can see, like I said, the tour, there's lots of room in this uh, this hangar for sure. At least get a couple of, of them in there end to end. And I have been noticing, you know, like my post flights lately have been, you know, I haven't been able to refuel or repair or rearm. So that's uh, that's something to, to consider. Um, but you know, it is what it is, and not terribly worried about it. So in we go. And we are going to go ahead and run our way over to the TDD and do our selling for the. I do like these new um, graphics that they have on the hangar floors, like kind of the oil spills and stuff, uh, or whatever, hydraulic fluid or whatever. I think that those things add some character. Um, Star Citizen is never ceasing to amaze me with that kind of thing. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, its level of fidelity is, is kind of unmatched at some level. Uh, in in the type in a multiplayer game where a whole bunch of people could be flying overhead and doing their own thing and and uh, you all know how uh, how I feel about the game here. So we've hauled our Quantanium from Arc L1 to Area 18, and now we're heading over to the TDD to do our selling. And this is uh, an important part of the game play loop, as you can imagine. This is where you get paid, which is always the best. Uh, feeling um, it is a super rewarding feeling really too honestly to when you've done your mining and you've done your refining and you finally are on your haul it really is a lot of fun so uh, I don't mind any part of this gameplay loop I, I I enjoy the scouting part of it I enjoy the mining part of it I enjoy hauling back to the refinery I enjoy the refining part of it I enjoy this cargo haul part of it it's just a great game loop uh, and it, it, it just is you know it, it, Provides me endless um, distraction from the from the real troubles in life, which is which is okay, which is what you know what a game should do. So, uh, anyways, yeah, here we go. Uh, I stored my Taurus, and I'm gonna run over now. And uh, I did get a kind of a chuckle uh, as we kind of approached the uh, the the train um, or the tram. It I thought it was gonna close on me. Uh, so I decided, you know, I started booking it because I heard it, uh, I heard it uh, say that they were going to close. I'm like, oh no, I'm going to miss it. But here, here again is this one person who, you know, we started out really in the same gameplay loop, and that's what I was saying. You know, uh, this person was obviously doing, you know, their their cargo run as well, and they started out um, doing, uh, you know, doing their cargo run, which made me laugh now. I really like this angle on the tram as well. I'm kind of enjoying this, uh, you know, the watching the vehicles fly by, and a little bit looking out the front. It's a beautiful morning on Art Corp, and you just, you know, you really do just. Get, even though there's not a lot of people running around, you still just get this sense of busyness. I mean, they've done a, they've done a really good job with Art Corp for sure. Now I've noticed that the uh, the tram has this kind of weird stop stutter thing that it does. That started happening, I don't know, maybe about a couple months ago I noticed it for the first time. Uh, and it will do it here as well. It's just for a second though and it's no big deal. See, there it stops. <laughs> and uh, here we finally do round the corner and we are about out of the tram. And we will begin heading over to the TDD to do our selling. So we did. We had a Thursday night mining operation, and uh, and a good one. We we um, got quite a bit of SCU, uh, and I am kind of bringing this in so I could make some um, payouts to the people who came on our mission with us. Uh, that's the way we do it with mining operations. It doesn't matter if you come out and you. Um, you scout, provide overwatch, uh, 
it doesn't matter if you mine, it doesn't matter if you're a, you know prospecting, it doesn't matter if you're just a new brand new person, first time on the lasers and the mole. Everybody gets an equal cut. Um, and then some people who are kind of old timers to the guild, you know, or the org will will say, hey, you know, I'll just donate whatever to the org, and that's totally cool. So, anyways, here we're kind of finishing up, right? We 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 run ran to the terminals here in the TDD in area 18, and I'm going to select a constellation tourist, and I have a couple of things to sell here that were, like I said, just some extras, um, you know, nothing important there, but the Quantanium. We did have about a million of that to, uh, to sell, and, and there's actually a whole bunch more back at the you know ranch, so another 70 SCU or so that I, I needed to sell as well. So that's it. That is the Quantanium Cargo Run. I just wanted to kind of get one video out here before I head on vacation for the week. I hope that you all are doing well. Uh, please take care of yourself. Enjoy this little bit of downtime, uh, and I will see you all around the verse.